Welcome to the Economic Stability Indicator Tool video. In this video, we will discuss the goals of the Economic Stability Indicator Tool, review the resources and features, and walk through the screening tool. The Economic Stability Indicator Tool is a project of the Children's Defense Fund, Minnesota. The Children's Defense Fund is a child advocacy organization founded by Marianne Wright Elderman. The mission of the Children's Defense Fund is to ensure that all children have a healthy start, a head start, a fair start, a safe start, a moral start in life, and a successful passage into adulthood with the help of caring families and communities. CDF has six state and regional offices, including the office in Minnesota and a national office in Washington, DC. Here in the Minnesota office, we have several different departments working to accomplish CDF's mission. These are legislative advocacy, youth development, community engagement, and outreach. The Economic Stability Indicator Tool is managed and maintained by the Outreach Department. So what is the Economic Stability Indicator Tool and what does it do? The Economic Stability Indicator Tool, or ESI, is a web-based tool developed by CDF Minnesota to demonstrate the interactions between wages, public work support programs, tax credits, and tax liabilities, and how they can or cannot bring families to a place of economic stability. The goals of ESI are to educate policymakers and legislators on how current and proposed legislation about public programs and tax credits can create cliff effects and other consequences for families. To illustrate the difficult decisions low-income families have to make to make ends meet, especially when they depend on programs that aren't fully funded, and then to educate families about wage and program interactions so they can make informed choices about employment and program use. The overarching goal of ESI is to improve the economic stability of low-income families. With the Economic Stability Indicator Tool, we hope to both inspire strategic improvement to public programs and educate families about how those programs and tax credits interact with their wages. In the next few chapters, I will walk you through the screening tool and all of its features. ESI is a policy analysis tool. As such, it does not support or provide families with information or application processes for public programs. If you would like to apply or get more information on public programs, visit our Bridge to Benefits site linked here. For more information on the Economic Stability Indicator Tool, please contact CDF Minnesota. So this is the homepage of the Economic Stability Indicator Tool. On the homepage, you'll find an overview of ESI and a recap of the goals of ESI you will find information about the program and tax credits that we screen for on ESI under Learn About Programs and Tax Credits. ESI has two levels of access, partner and non-partner. Partners have access to all of the functions and features in the tool. Non-partners, on the other hand, can conduct a screening. However, they do not have access to all of the tool's functions and features. If you're a partner, click here, you'll be directed to a login screen. On the right-hand page of the partner site, you'll find information or news that has been posted for our partners. At the bottom of the screen is the data center where you would find information or a list of all of the screens that have been conducted under your organization's login. So screens are saved by an ID number. On the tool, we don't save families' names or their personal information. So screens are saved by ID number. Um, you can also find screens by the screener that conducted the screen and then the county that the family who the screen was for was conducted in. If you would like to edit the screen that you've already conducted for a family, click on the pencil. If you would like to review the results page for a screen that you've already conducted for a family, click on the book. Mm -hmm. On the partner page, to download results from screens that have been conducted, click on download results. You will get access to the screening tool by clicking new screen. 
There are a couple of ways to access the screening tool. One, you can click screening tool here and it'll take you to the screening tool. If you're a non-partner, click here and you'll be directed to the screening tool. On this page, you'll find some information on how to conduct a screen, as well as brief overviews and definitions of the various terms that you might find in ESI. Due to the complexity of ESI, training is required in order for one to fully understand how the tool works and the outputs it generates. The first question in the tool is to determine who's using the tool. If you're working with a family, click working with a family. If you're looking at a policy or analyzing a policy, click policy analysis. If you're just playing with the tool, click playing with the tool. For all other purposes, click other. Second, select a county for the family in the scenario. You also find information on how to identify a family's accurate living situation by reading this information below. Continue to answer the questions in a way that best describes the family you're running the scenario for. If there's any other person in the household that the family shares meals and expenses with, if that person is a working adult, enter in their income both earned and unearned income. In order to examine the effect that public programs, tax credits, tax liabilities, and wages have on a family's bottom line, we've developed what we call the basic needs budget. The basic needs budget is not a living wage budget in that it only includes those things that are considered pillars of ec economic stability which includes food, health insurance, housing expenses, childcare, transportation ex expenses, and other expenses. The bare bones budget is customizable to the family size, the ages of the children, and the county that the family lives in. These numbers are estimated numbers calculated by the tool. If a family is spending more or less of the estimated number on each budget category, you can edit the number to reflect the family's accurate expense each month. This is the results page or the monthly family budget page. On the far left, you'll see a list of all of the budget categories within the basic needs budget. Under each of the budget categories, you will see public programs or tax credits that fall within that category. In the second column, you will find estimated expense amounts for each of the budget categories. In the third column or fam under family supports, in ESI, we make several assumptions. One of those assumptions, if a family appears eligible for a program based on the family size and the ages of the children, ESI shows that the family is enrolled in the program. As a partner, you can edit benefit amounts if the family happens to be receiving more or less than the estimated benefit amount. To edit benefit amounts, click here. If a family appears eligible but is not enrolled in the program, as a partner, you can turn the program off by unclicking the check mark. And now you can see the 145 went to zero for this family. The last column in a tool is reduced expenses. Reduced expenses is the expense amount that a family have if they are enrolled in all of the programs they appear eligible for. For example, in the food category, the family's expense is $632. This family appears eligible for a WIC and the Minnesota Family Investment Program food benefit. If this family is enrolled in both programs, their food expense would be reduced from $632 to $18. Unlike the rest of the categories under childcare, you will find 
what the family's co-pay to a child care program would be as opposed to seeing what the benefit amount would be. Under the summary page, you'll see where the family is at economically before and after they enroll in public programs. For example, for this family of three living in Dakota County, their expense is about $6,500 a month. With the income of $2,200 a month, this family has a deficit of $4,216 each month. If this family is enrolled in all the programs and tax credits they qualify for, this family's expense is reduced to about $1,800 each month. With their income, they have about $400 left over from their wages each month. And then they will receive this much in tax credits if tax credits are allotted over 12 months. As a partner, you have access to these three functions to edit an income, edit expenses, and build a comparison. As a partner, if you're working with a family who's making $20 an hour and they get a raise that could bring them up to $25 an hour and you wanted to build a comparison view of how that raise is going to affect program benefits, click here. So the, in this example, we will move this family up to about 21,000. So a thousand dollars increase yearly. On this page, you can see a side-by-side -side view of how that increase is going to affect the family's benefits. So for here, you see that this family, their benefit amount reduces from $469 to $427. For their housing benefits, you see that there's also a $20 decrease as well. Their co-pay for childcare increases and then their earned income tax credit also decreases. Go back to the monthly family budget page. As a partner, you also have access to our net resources graph line, which shows the family's pathway to economic stability and highlights all of the benefit cliffs that families might experience as their income increases. So here's the family's net resources graph line. The break-even point is where the family's income, and that income includes tax credits, wages, and public programs, cancels out their reduced expenses. The blue line is what that family has left over each month without tax credits. The gold line indicates where the family, what the family have left over with if they were receiving tax credits on a monthly basis. This line is the family's income and this line is what the family has left over. Where you see dips in the graph line is where the families experience benefit cliffs. Benefit cliffs occurs when a family's income increases and they either lose programs or their program's benefit decreases because of that increase. However, the increase does not make up for that loss of program or the decrease in their program. So it kind of puts the family at a more negative place than they were before. The biggest cliffs that most families, especially families with small children experience, is the loss of child care assistance program and the loss of medical assistance for children. ESI is a policy analysis tool. As such, it does not support or provide families with information or application processes for public programs. If you would like to apply or get more information on public programs, you can access the Bridge to Benefits tool by clicking on the icon on the top right-hand corner of the screen. Visit our Bridge to Benefits site linked here. For more information on the Economic Stability Indicator tool, please contact CDF Minnesota. Thank you.